I'm John Rowland with Highland Park Lapidary and uh, I want to show you our new arbor that goes in our uh, rotary flat lap. Um, we're just coming out with these machines and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while and um, but I wanted to do it right. So basically what what this is is I made an arbor assembly that is standard in all of uh, the three bigger laps we're going to do. We're doing an 18 and a 24 right now. Uh, I am going to do a 12 and I'm probably going to put the same arbor in it just because it costs about the same amount of money as doing a small arbor. But the idea behind this arbor, if any of you have ever rebuilt an old uh, HP machine, the arbors were just a huge pain to rebuild. So I wanted to build an arbor that was not only giving you a lot of features, but was easy to rebuild. So. What I did with this arbor is I made the center of the body of the arbor just a casting, cast iron. I put an overing groove in here and I bolt this into the main framework with these five bolts. When you bolt it up, this O-ring seals everything. So you don't have any, any problem with a gasket or anything goofy. It's just a, a single O-ring. Um, and then in the rest of it, I, what I did is I set uh, two precision ball bearings one in the top, one in the bottom, and the the bearings are held into the housing with a snap ring. Uh, generally, flat laps aren't super high speed, so it's not really necessary to have a press fit. Uh, and then our our arbor shaft is a stainless steel 316, um, and it's all of our all of our arbors are through drilled, so basically you can uh, run any of our laps with a water supply through the center is a standard thing and then we've got a, a flange where we hook the main plate uh, what we did on this is we actually set it up welded the flange to the arbor shaft then we then we face this uh, so we get a continuous seam no run out that way um, and, th and then the main timing pulleys are uh, keyed onto this the rotating union for your water feed is down here uh, and then you can put your cone fixtures or your center feed fitting into the top with a standard like a one inch uh, diameter uh, lapping plate. So there you have it, uh, arbor that anybody can rebuild on their own, stainless steel shaft so nothing rust and uh, it's going to be really reasonably priced just like everything else we do. I'm going to show you a little bit more about our new rotary flat laps. Um, I'm currently looking at one that I have inverted right now as we're putting the uh, pulley system in. Now what we did is we went to a timing style pulley because there's some advantages to that. Um, one, the, if you look at the old laps, they got these huge 12 inch or 14 inch uh, pulleys on them because the minimum size for v-belt pulley that you typically can get is like an inch and a half or two inches but with a timing belt you can get a much smaller drive pulley and you can get a the same ratio by uh, using timing pulleys with a much smaller space and then it's really easy to put guarding around it and and make it easy to uh, maintain and the nice thing about a timing pulley is that it's also uh, very smooth running where a v-belt can take a set and then will feel kind of pulsy you'll feel it boom 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 like that a timing pulley um, won't do that so uh, you'll see on a lot of our machines we use this style this is called a curved tooth so basically if you look at the belt the belt is got rounded teeth on it. Now they make them with square teeth. The square teeth are, are more noisy than the rounded tooth. They're cheaper, but uh, basically we want, we want our stuff to be quieter and better. Um, and we can offer this and, uh, you know, make a great flat lap that's less expensive than what's on the market right now. Um, that gives uh, people the access to, uh, you know, a really good quality tool. Um, the other thing you'll see about our, our flat laps is we came in with uh, this reinforcement because when you're working on the lap, even with this, uh, this heavy steel, you can, like an 18 inch lap and you're pushing out at the end of it, you can still flex the body if you don't have these ribs in there. So we put these stiffener ribs in there so the whole thing is really rigid. 